coming up to a couple of really, really good summer days to kind of kick off the season. But definitely a reminder, drink lots of water because it's, it's going to be hot. Yeah. It's going to be real hot. I mean, after the harsh winter we've had, Dane, I think we've forgotten of, like, how hot it can Just get during the summer months. And be. I think we're going to be so excited. But you do need to make sure you stay hydrated and make sure the air conditioning is working this weekend because you will probably need to crank up that AC as we go into the next several days. But right now at 621 on this Wednesday morning, as you are beginning your work day, we are waking up to some cloudy skies in St. Joseph. Right now it's 69 degrees with a calm wind in St. Joseph right now. And we have been tracking some on and off again showers and thunderstorms during the last several hours. Right now, most of it is out in southeastern Nebraska, moving into northwest Missouri. So Fall City into Hiawatha, Rockport, you're seeing a few light rain showers right now. But the heavier rain and the thunderstorms are right now over the I-80 corridor near Lincoln, Nebraska. And this will be pushing in over the next several hours. So don't be surprised, especially if you live in our northern counties like Rockport, Mount City, Maryville. You might see a few showers push through later on this morning as you're heading out the door. But I can reassure you, once all this activity finally moves out, we're going to see quiet, tranquil weather over the next several days with a lot of sunshine. But the top weather story heading into the weekend will be the warm, humid air moving in. And that's going to allow us to have our first wave of summer heat as we go into the weekend. So you will need to take the proper precautions. But right now, this morning, the strong southerly winds are already allowing that warm, humid air to start moving in, allowing us to be this morning in the upper 60s to lower 70s. I am tracking temperatures today to be a few degrees above average as we're going to be topping out today in the upper 80s for high temperatures. Again, by 12 o'clock noon, I'm expecting the rain and the thunderstorms to completely move out. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds heading into the afternoon, into the evening hours. But the heat index, it's going to make it feel like the middle 90s out there. And it's just going to get hotter heading into the weekend. But let's go ahead and take a quick look at your KQ2 hour by hour forecast. As I advance this to 9 a.m., Rockport into Maryville, into Mount City, you could see a few stray showers and thunderstorms as our disturbance continues to move out. By lunchtime, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures already upper 70s, lower 80s, and it's just going to continue to warm up heading into the afternoon as that south wind continues to pump in that warm, humid air, allowing us to go up today to the upper 80s for high temperatures. Again, it's going to feel like the middle 90s out there, so keep that in mind if you do need to be out for a long period of time. Make sure you have the sunscreen handy as well as the sun is strong as well this time of the year. Heading into tonight by 9 o'clock, we're only going down to the lower 80s, upper 70s, and waking up this time tomorrow morning, we're going to be in the upper 70s already near 80 degrees and again temperatures are going to just going to continue to get warmer heading into the next several days here's your kq2 allergy report for today grass wheat pollen are back up to moderate levels so keep that in mind if you do suffer from those seasonal allergies and again we're going to be seeing above average hot humid summer conditions over the next several days so keep it tuned to kq2 89 for your high today Again, some showers and thunderstorms early, but again, we'll be clearing up heading into the afternoon and in your KQ2 five to seven day forecast. Again, it's going to be hot, lots of sunshine, but again, that humidity is going to make it feel like the upper 90s to near 100 degrees out there with that heat index, Dane. So definitely a reminder that summer is here. Oh, summer is definitely here. <laughs> Thank you, Vanessa. 50 blind and visually impaired students.